Culture Code Video Installation is a visual exploration of uh, human identity uh, that can that is changed through the time by various um, aspects uh, or and overlays one um, on another. Um, so very important element of that was uh, to work with memories. Um, we worked with uh, Sonia and Olga on it and we uh, went through, looked at it uh, through personal lens. So we used uh, family archives, we also looked at uh, traditions, uh, some symbols or rituals of countries where we were born and uh, brought up in, which is uh, Estonia and Ukraine. And uh, then at the countries where we emigrated to, which is uh, Germany, Sweden and um, Switzerland. And we were, we noticed that uh, we have very similar kind of patterns, no matter how, how far uh, we are in which country, there were similar like uh, patterns of behavior of traditions that humans have. And we, uh, yeah, we found that very interesting. We were working uh, with the personal archives, looking into our childhood, um, for, like we're, physically we were working with uh, videotapes, photography, drawings, um, thinking about, like researching what uh, were the traditions, um, trying to remember what we did with our families that was uh, sometimes bizarre and we'll try to uh, find out why we did uh, certain things and or why in this culture we did certain things. So um, yeah, we were exploring that. Video installation uh, consists of um, different layers. Uh, it's kind of a metaphor for um, our identity that uh, is shaped by those uh, different experiences that uh, we get from uh, from everywhere, from our surrounding, from the place we grew up, from the place where we maybe travel or meet some people. So it kind of piles up. So it's a physical a metaphor of that. Um, and then we tried to really um, to create very meditative space so you can actually wander around those codes uh, or layers and, um, and experience it um, in a visual, tactile, um, um, yeah, have this kind of experience. Um, also, Sonia created um, sculpture, series of sculptures, and that comes from her also personal experience because uh, her grandmother is a ceramist, so she thought that she needed to use that form to express that too. Um, and also important role uh, playing sound. Um, I talked to Misha Panfilov and um, when he kind of connected to the concept and idea, um, he found in his archives one composition that was uh, recorded with uh, six different uh, pianos and it was also kind of idea of layers and then we mix that he mixed that with um, with the, with those uh, audio archives that we had and at the end we created this uh, yeah this kind of collage of experiences and that kind of brings you to this nostalgic um, space somehow I believe that the audience can recognize uh, some of those codes because we not only use something personal, but it can really scale up and um, get to, to some of the details that come from kind of society memory or co community memory of some things that everyone remembers. And um, I believe everyone can get some bits here and there that they can, can connect to. Uh, so we are, it's our debut as an art, art collective, but uh, usually we used to work together uh, many years uh, as a design collective, but we found uh, it interesting to go to towards like artistic direction as a collective. We enjoyed to collaborate and work um, together.
no matter where we are actually at, because we we are um, are all in different countries even today. So um, yeah, we keep doing it. Design tries always to change, not change, but um, solve certain problem, and there are certain restrictions to it. Um, and art in that sense is, uh, has more freedom because you can have also a problem but then you are free to explore it and there is no right or wrong answer to that.